Okay, we're given a profit function. Um, P's profit, Q's quantity, both are in thousands. First goal, we wanna find the marginal profit function. So marginal profit just means the same thing as the derivative of the profit function. So we're gonna use the power rule a couple times here. Go ahead, bring down the two, multiply it by the negative 0 0.01. We get negative 0 0.02. Reduce the exponent by one, that'll be Q to the first power. For our next term, it's 6Q initially, so it's just gonna be six for its denominator. And then the 40, its uh, derivative is gonna be zero because it's a constant. Okay, from here, we wanna know what quantity in thousands should be sold to maximize our profits. Well, if we wanna maximize our profits, we wanna find critical numbers. Critical numbers occur either whenever the derivative is undefined or equal to zero. Well, in our case, we have a linear function here. It's not gonna be undefined anywhere. Can't plug in any value for Q that's gonna make this undefined like dividing by zero. So instead, let's go ahead and set this equal to zero, negative 0.02Q plus six, set it equal to zero, do a little bit of solving down. So we'll subtract six initially, move that to the other side and get negative six over there. To get Q all by itself, we'll divide both sides by this negative 0.02. That'll give us Q is equal to 300. Okay, now we could do like the second derivative test or the first derivative test um, to double check to make sure this is actually gonna be a maximum value. However, if we kind of think about our original function here, this is gonna be a parabola that opens downwards um, because it's a Q squared and we have a negative out in front. Parabolas that open downward have this sort of look going on and we're gonna be finding that Maximum value is the only thing they can really have. They can't really have a minimum to go along with that maximum. All right, so pretty sure Q is going to be where we get a maximum value. We can also call that a critical number or critical value. And then finally, um, we wanna find the actual maximum profits in thousands, but remember P is in thousands already, I told you. Um, that can be expected. So to do this, we're gonna take the critical number where the maximum is going to occur, and we're gonna go back to the original function, plug it back into our profit function, go P of 300 equals negative 0.01 times 300, raised to the second power, plus six times 300 minus 40. Probably get the calculator out to help us here. I got it to be 860 thousand dollars. All right. Hope this helps out as you're working on marginal profit, finding those critical numbers and maximizing our profit function. Good luck.